Howdy y'all, Jackson here with Ictric Studio, and I'm back with another rendition of the historic college football playoff, this one for the 1990-1991 college football season. This year ended in a split national title between number 1 Colorado and number 2 Georgia Tech, between the AP poll and the coaches poll. Will either one prove their selectors correct, or will number 3 Texas or number 4 Miami prove them both wrong? Let's find out. We will start things off in Dallas, Texas for the Cotton Bowl, as the number 1 Colorado Buffaloes take on the number 4 Miami Hurricanes. After a great Miami punt after their opening drive stalled, they'd sack Darian Hagan as he attempted to hand off the ball in his own end zone, for a safety. After the safety punt, Miami would drive down the field quickly before Craig Erickson would find a man over the middle for the Hurricane touchdown. Colorado would then follow that up with a drive of their own before it would stall out leading to this field goal. Then after a stop, they'd drive again, before yet again stalling out and having to settle for another field goal. Miami would not be deterred though, as they'd put together another solid drive, that Erickson would cap off finding a man over the middle for yet another Hurricane score. Colorado would strike back with points of their own though, but it would be another field goal. After getting the ball back with a little time before the half, the Hurricanes would march right down the field to put this field goal through as time expired. Colorado would come out strong to start the second half, but their drive would stall yet again leading to another field goal. Miami would come out stronger though, as they'd march right down the field before Alex Johnson would get this handoff and bounce outside, finding space for the 17-yard touchdown. Colorado would march yet again, but once again fizzle out, leading to another field goal. They'd then do it again on their next drive, making all 18 of their points off the leg of their kicker. Miami would then slam the door as Stephen McGuire would power through the line for the last score of the game. Miami wins it 33-18 to advance to the national championship in the Fiesta Bowl. We now head east to New Orleans, Louisiana, and the Sugar Bowl as the number 2 Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets take on the number 3 Texas Longhorns. Texas's first drive would start strong ending in this field goal. Georgia Tech would respond with a strong drive of their own, ending as William Bell would break the plane from three yards out to take the lead. Texas would come right back though, as Butch had not would break the plane for the Longhorns, taking back the lead. Later they'd expand that lead with this field goal. Georgia Tech would not just roll over though, as John Johnson would find a man deep in the end zone to take the one point lead. Texas would respond though, going right down the field and finishing the drive with his had not touchdown run. They'd then line up for two to make it a seven point game, but Hadnot would be stuffed in the backfield, leaving it a five point contest. Georgia Tech would then execute a flawless drive, capping it off with his spell touchdown with only seconds left on the clock, to claim victory 21-19, to advance to the Fiesta Bowl to take on number four Miami. Hello and welcome to Tempe, Arizona for the Fiesta Bowl National Championship between number two Georgia Tech and number four Miami. The Yellow Jackets would run into the same bend but don't break defense the Buffaloes encountered, ending their opening drive with a field goal. Miami, however, would come out firing on all cylinders on offense, ending their first drive as Erickson would find a man deep over the middle for six. The Hurricane defense would then continue to not let drives finish in the end zone, as Georgia Tech would have to settle for another three. It then happened again on their next opportunity, this time in the red zone. Miami would then be forced to settle for one of their own as their drive would also stall. And then Georgia Tech would have to settle for yet another one, taking a two-point lead with just over a minute left in the half. Unfortunately for them, the Hurricanes would make quick work of the Yellow Jackets defense to kick this field goal as the half would come to a close. They'd then take that momentum into the second half, driving right down the field and finishing the drive with this McGuire touchdown run. Georgia Tech would then respond with yet another field goal. Then after a stop, they'd yet again have to settle for another field goal, making it a two-point game. Unfortunately, Miami would march down the field yet again, ending their drive with another short McGuire touchdown run. They'd even add a field goal late to put a dagger in it, as they win it 30-18 to to claim the national title. Thank you all for watching this edition of the Historic College Football Playoff. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't or your team lost, feel free to leave a dislike. And please subscribe if you have not already. Thanks again. Bye.